thing. Yes, sir. We are back, y'all. We are back with another freaking video. video. So, you trying some new stuff? I don't know, I just be playing <laughs> with stuff like that. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. So, I put out on the YouTube community page, on our YouTube community page, and I said, um, who has the funniest comedic stand up skit? on YouTube and um, so two people dropped some videos that I want to try so the first one this is by Tom Segoy Segura mostly what was that mostly stories and I think this came from um, shout out to subscriber it was his um, um, James Brantley so we're gonna do this one you said it's funny we're about to see Thank you, James. But before we go any further, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Drop us some comments in the comment section and turn on your post notifications so every time we drop a video, you will get it. Yeah. Let's go. Um, bikes. I get like <laughs> verbal tics, you know? I don't have Tourette's. I wish I did. It looks fun. But I'll just yell shit. It's like a hook on a catchy song, except it's just stuff that I watch, and then, BOX! I just yell it, you know, over and over. Only like two or three million times. But, okay. I'm obsessed with the show Scared Straight. Um, if you've never seen it, it's tremendous. Here's what they do. In the show, they take kids, middle school and high school kids, that are getting in trouble a lot, and they send them to jail for a day. And let me tell you, on the side note, that junk is hilarious. I've seen it. Because they go up in there and the prison like, boy, I eat your lunch of hell and I'll stab you and kiss you at the same time. Boy, I'm just yeah. they, be, boy, they, be, they be tripping, boy. That'd be hilarious. And the idea is that jail will scare the fuck out of the kid and then he'll get his life together, hence scared straight. It's tremendous. I'm obsessed with one episode. It aired once okay. in 1999. Really? You know, it's hardcore. Yours was great. It aired uncensored, which is bananas. <laughs> and in this episode, they did not send the kids to jail like they normally do. Instead, they sent them to a maximum security penitentiary. <laughs> prison. Episode. And those That's prisoners verbally assaulted these kids into crying a lot. Oh. <laughs> and it's the funniest okay. shit I have ever seen in my life. First of all, don't feel like too bad for the, these kids are super badass. They're not like spitting spitballs in class and say, they're fucking stabbing other kids. They're badass kids, okay? And they show up to this thing with attitude. Like they walk in, they're like, what's up? I just ain't shit, I run sixth grade. I ain't scared of you, man. Like. Can't scare me. And they're greeted by a guy named Crazy Chris. Chris has scars on his face. Maybe because I work with kids, uh -huh. then I might be seemingly that insult is kind of funny, but I don't feel like kids are bad. You know, there are some kids who have some things. That so, uh, well, <laughs> okay, it, ain't, it, ain't that, it ain't all that. This, this is a comedy skit, baby. It calm, is. Calm down. And it's the screen freezes. And it says, Chris killed six people, and he's doing a double life sentence. Like, this dude is so bad that when he dies and he's reincarnated, that guy's doing life in prison also. Oh, my God. So, this That's is a bad good. motherfucker right here. The kids are, like, squatting around, and Chris is like, hey, my name's Crazy Chris. And from now on, you will see me in your nightmares. And the kids are like, what the fuck? Like... I'm 12, don't talk to me like that, man, that's crazy. And then he goes, if I ever see you again, I'll take a bite out of each of you. And they're like, all right, we're all reformed now. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Jesus, just, but just they can't leave. The next guy comes up to him and he goes, uh, hold my pocket, hold my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and makes kids walk around holding the inside of his pocket. Do you understand? Like... So he... <laughs> that was my deal. That's the voice of Madea. It does sound like Madea a uh -huh, little bit. Madea. Hold, hold my pocket. I've seen that before on on um a prison show or something. Not and they were me. holding holding pockets. Wow. That's like you the you the B word. Scared in straight. the jail. Yeah. Okay. He walks and then they're like, uh -huh. 
<laughs> hold my pocket. I don't know what you know about prison, but if you're holding on to another dude's pocket, it's going to be a rough day, all right? <laughs> Not only is this guy making kids hold his, but he's talking ridiculous shit to middle schoolers. He's like, I'm gonna make you suck my dick for breakfast. Oh. Every morning. And the kid's like, oh, I hate breakfast. Oh. Funny shit Ooh. like that. That's him. That sucks. So. <laughs> And so he's like, I'm gonna mush your motherfucking face. And the kid's like, it's so, it's so fucking funny. Uh, <laughs> there's one exchange where this dude, he pulls a kid out of line. The kid's like 13. He weighs, I don't know, 100 pounds. And he has a bowl cut. I still want to get through it, baby. Yeah, I, I didn't say we weren't. Okay. Uh, at least get to the end. Yeah, I didn't say stop it. I'm giving my reaction, so worry about what you do. I know. Yeah. He's like 13. He weighs, I don't know, 100 pounds. And he has a bowl cut. Okay? He has a bowl cut in prison. It's parted in the middle. The prisoner goes, Why are you here? And the kid's like, Ugh. Stealing? And he goes, The fuck you took? And the kid goes, bikes? And he goes, bikes! And that's why I yell bikes all the time. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. That, that part is funny. All right. <laughs> you should see me when we drive by a bike store. Holy shit. I'll be driving, I'll be like, oh. And my wife, she's pretty over it. Um... <laughs> She'll go like, she you get one. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna make this shit count. So I'll pull over, I roll down the window, and I wait until I see somebody checking out one of the sidewalk displays, like with all the bikes out there. And when they find one they really like, and they're like, oh, I like this it's one, I'll go, bikes! And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go, stop selling drugs! And I drive off. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun. You should do it. Ah. So okay, okay. It, it was fun. It led up. It led up to his fun to the funny parts. But he had to warm you up with the story so you can get an understanding to get to the funny parts. But like the funny part on that was he said bikes, bikes was the funny part. And then the kids walk around holding they holding their pockets. But um, I mean, it, it was wasn't slap funny. It, it, funny. it, it had, it had yeah, fun. It had the, maybe I'm just it had know, them, but the, how I feel about it. Cheering. Oh, okay. Yeah, but still. Well, I'm not an educator, so <laughs> I, it was hilarious to me. But pieces were hilarious, so that was good. It was good. So, All right, Tom, Tom. so Tom Segura, Segura, most of the stories, man. Hey, so that concludes this one, man. We're gonna move on to the next. Like always, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification every time we do beep, something, you get it in <laughs> immediately. <laughs> and also subscribe to Snapper Red TV and what? come over to the family channel, man. Red and chocolate. And what's the one for the kids? If y'all got kids out there, Dropping what's the one for the kids? Dropping jewels. Dropping jewels. The link is down below. It'll be in the description below. See y'all in a second. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You say you want a husband chocolate cake, you wanna be married The big old mansion on the lake of Lambeau if I carry You say you wanna be the only one, no baby mama drama No could it, but it's side piece of a shit